Imagine waking up one day in a squalid, overcrowded cell in a military prison after an ordinary night out for some drinks with a couple of friends. You don't know why or how you got there, neither do your current random cellmates, who entirely dismiss your concern and agitation. You don't have your possessions nor your documents, you're not entitled to phone calls to contact your family or an attorney, and the jail guards ignore all your pleads and requests. Hours, perhaps days, go by until you are finally summoned to a high-ranking officer who accuses you of espionage and treason while advising you to confess to an array of fictitious charges if you ever wish to see the light of day again. This is the backdrop and starting point of interrogation, one of the most grueling depictions of Soviet-induced paranoia and abuse, a harrowing tour de force in Stalinist Poland and a magnificent tale of bravery, human dignity and survival against the ruthless and dehumanizing repressive political apparatus which is familiar to any country that ever suffered under the yoke of an authoritarian regime. Interrogation is a Polish film which has been dubbed as the most anti-communist film Poland has ever seen and considering the country's unfortunate relationship with the Soviet Union as a satellite state for almost half of the 20th century, its historical and emotional relevance is hard to overstate. Despite its almost unbelievable atmosphere of terror, something which was pointed out by some foreigners during its exhibition at Cannes and which even today is seen as unreal by younger Polish generations, the film is remarkably factual as indicated by both Bugajski and Krystyna Janda, the main actress. A cursory knowledge of Poland's recent history will help the viewer understand the context in which the film was developed and its setting, but the absence of it shall not prevent one from appreciating the film's qualities and from being able to follow its narrative. The film was scripted and directed by Richard Bugajski through the production studio X Film Unit, which was coordinated by Andrzej Wajda, one of the most successful and renowned Polish filmmakers in history. Despite having been completed in 1982, the film regrettably only saw the light of day by the end of 1989, together with other unpalatable films from the same era, after having been censored and effectively banned by the Polish communist government due to its unflinching criticism of the regime. Its completion sadly occurred shortly after the declaration of martial law in Poland, which followed the growing political dissent and public dissatisfaction stemming from the country's near bankruptcy and the general discontent was channeled and symbolized most strikingly by the historical solidarity movement. It should be noted that prior to the aforementioned martial law, denouncing Stalinism was accepted as long as it focused exclusively on Polish Stalinism and refrained from addressing its critique to the Soviets, which was considered a dangerous taboo. Therefore, many filmmakers at the time saw it as an opportunity to disparage the system without being blamed for criticizing the system. Despite its ban, and the blacklisting of Bugajski, who was forced to flee and settle in Canada for several years, the film however managed to attain cult status after illegal VHS copies of it started circulating underground, and today most people would wholeheartedly agree that Interrogation is the most famous Polish film of the 80s and certainly one of the country's most meaningful cinematic works. Interrogation is a gloomy and punishing snapshot of Stalinist Poland, meaning the 1950s period, an era charged with political schizophrenia and ideological persecution, similar to what the Soviet Union had endured some 20 years before. The film follows Antonina Dziwisz, or Tonya, and her struggle while incarcerated in prison after being arrested and falsely charged with espionage, sabotage and other such accusations typical of the time. Tonya is a stage artist that finds herself initially in a damp, dark jail cell one morning after a night out with two acquaintances that present themselves as fans and which take advantage of the raw with her boyfriend following one of her gigs. These men appear friendly and harmless, persuading her to drink to an unreasonable level until making sure Tonya's control and resistance is severely hampered, taking her then to jail for processing. While in there, she suffers dehumanizing abuse both in a physical and psychological shape, in an attempt to break her into confessing to crimes suspected by her jailers and officers, which only she knows and believes to never have committed. Her suffering is grave to the extent that she is almost brought to the brink of collapse in various occasions, due to a series of variations of torture involving the use of water, beatings, humiliation, death threats, while controlling and limiting her rest, nourishment and communication with the outside world, and while playing the cellmates all against each other. In other words, its textbook secret police procedure and technique, as learned from Nazi Gestapo and Soviet NKVD, 
but Tanya stands out with courage against her tormentors by refusing to admit to their completely fabricated allegations and remaining righteous in regard to her conscience, much to their aggravation. Tonya is portrayed by Kristina Janda, one of the finest actresses in Polish film history, known for her collaborations with some of the greatest Polish film directors like Andrzej Wajda, Krzysztof Kiesowski, Jerzy Zulowski or Krzysztof Zanussi, having performed in remarkable films such as Wajda's Man of Marble and Palme d'Or winner Man of Iron, Kiesowski's Decalogue 2 and 5 and the latter's film version, a short film about killing, or Zulowski's controversial sci-fi masterwork on the Silver Globe. Together with Janusz Kajus, another of Poland's great actors, and Adam Ferenczi, both of them having actor credits under Wajda and Kiesowski too, the three people form a triangle comprising the main characters of the film, enmeshed in a web of violence, dishonesty, attraction, mistrust, duty and morality that reflects the tension between obeying one's own principles or following the ideological doctrine, riskily asserting one's integrity or surrendering to deceit for self-preservation. Indeed, interrogation is ripe with dilemmas and subtly reveals the contradictions of communist governance without resorting exclusively to black and white characterizations, and an interesting example is observed in one of Tonya's cellmates named Witkowska, played by the also renowned Polish director and screenwriter Agnieszka Holland, as she quite impossibly attempts to harmonize her incarcerated condition with her Communist Party affiliation and faith, much to Tonya's bewilderment. Interrogation is a film that may seem unremarkable from a visual standpoint, but undeniably shines through its story and cast. Christina Yanda's performance in the film particularly is a wonderful depiction of an artist's soul systematically crushed by higher and relenting powers, yet stubbornly and proudly resistant to its injustice and offenses. She truly comes across as a flesh and bone person with veritable emotional depth, showcased by her developing attitude during the entire ordeal, whether she is faced with her imminent execution or whether she finds emotional solace in the most unexpected place. She is compelling while exposing her frailties and empathetic in her hopeless despair and anguish, as well as in her attempts at lifting up the spirits and maintaining optimism, while drawing the viewer also with her unworried and heartfelt candidness regarding her friends and in her sarcastic and defiant demeanor towards her torturers. One reason for the appeal of Christina's character might be the fact that she incarnates someone without many convictions or political ideas of her own, an individual somewhat oblivious to the political system that rules her country and life, and such innocence and informal approach perhaps allowed her to resonate more easily with like-minded individuals living in democratic nations that were then confronted with this oppressive nightmare. In the end, Tonya's role is an example of profound, intense acting, which Christina Yanda characterized as a genuine and sudden outburst of hate in an interview, but that ultimately acts as a symbol of hope amidst the darkness of authoritarianism and in fact his performance went as far as impressing the jurors at the Cannes Film Festival in 1990 to the extent that they were convinced to confer the Best Actress award to her. In today's age of exaltation of female empowerment, Antonina Dziwisz's brave stance against the controlling political machine of Stalinist Poland is certainly a significant and worthy example of womanly strength, but more than that, and regardless of the gender, it's a testament on the dignity and capacity of humanity to resist totalitarianism urging its viewers to fight for their freedom against submission and repression in all its shapes or forms. Interrogation therefore also discourses on the individual's autonomy, espousing the right of people to live and assume control of their life in a society devoid of indoctrination and overbearing governmental control, a lesson that was as relevant then as it is today. For more on cinema from all around the world and other film-related content, make sure to check the channel and its previous videos. Feel free to like, comment, share or subscribe and until next time.